bro. I just had a question, man. I, uh, I've seen you guys online, and I guess I ain't to uh, dive deeper. I just wanted to ask if y'all believe uh, Christ is Lord, and he answered my question for me. Yeah, most That's certainly. What really, I was trying to ask because I've been looking, but I haven't dived deeper into it. So you asked that question because you don't know uh, in no, yourself that Christ is Lord, or you don't I believe do that? I was just asking because I didn't know what y'all what y'all was pre what y'all was preaching. I was just asking about. Yeah, yeah. So what do you what do you think, or what's your preconceived notion about what we teach? I don't I don't know. That's what I was saying. I just walked by and I asked. So I wanted to know some information. So I was all like, praises, man. Hey, that's like, a humble that's spirit, bro. Yeah, we appreciate it. the question. That's very. That's all we come out here to do. That's all we come out here to do. Interact, dialogue with our people. Yeah. So what? So let's say in Israel, like, you read the Bible. Yeah. You believe in Christ. Yeah. You believe in God? Yes. What color is Christ? Part, part where he was from, I think he, he was, he was he definitely wasn't white. So you say he had brown in him. He, had, he, he brown in him. So yes. let, if, if the does the Bible describe what Christ looked like? It says his hair, but it doesn't describe his skin tone. Let's find out. Can you mind reading the Bible real quick? Let's get it. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Verse 1. Verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Which God gave unto him. So the revelation is the, the root word of revelation is what? To reveal. Yeah, the root word. Something's being revealed to John, right? Come on. Verse 14. Keep reading. To shew unto his prophets things which must shortly come to pass. Come on, no, no and, and he sent and signified it. He signified it. Come on. By his angel unto his servant John. Read. Who bear record. Who did what? Who bear record. So there's a record of it. Right? Okay. Now jump to verse 14. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. You got that part right, right? You said his hair was woolly. What people on earth have woolly textured hair? Black folks, right? You got woolly hair, bro. You understand? So right there, that, this is strike one. This brother got stringy hair, right? Come on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ drunk wine. So in moderation, right? He drunk wine in moderation. The whites of our eyes, when we drink, what happens to him? When the whites of your eyes, when you start drinking, what color they turn? Red. They turn red, bro. Christ drank wine in moderation. Come on. And his feet. Now he's looking at his feet. Yeah. The feet. Is, are your feet going to look the same color as the rest of your body? Yeah. Common sense, right? Yeah. Let's go. Come on. And his feet. Come on. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? A, a, derivative, a shade of brown, right? Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. As if what? As if. They burned in the furnace. So does, is this the color of Christ? Is this burned in the furnace? There's this. It's a better depiction of Christ. He's a black man with woolly hair. You understand? You understand? Now you know where we read from. Where we read from? The Bible. Revelations. It gave the full. It said, bro, he looked like he burned in the furnace. So why have we been given an image contrary? United, United States, everything good is white. So. If it ain't white, it ain't right. Well, I understand that 100%. So then, are the prophets of the Bible, are they white? So-called white? No. They Remember, they confused Christ. They didn't know which one Christ was whenever they came to get him. That means all the other apostles look like what? They was black too. So the book, hold on, the people of the book is black. Christ is black. Why have we been given a false re religion, a false theology, to say Christianity, all these are white? You think that's a problem? I do think that's a problem. Read. They don't, they don't die deeper. No, they know. they know. They know, but they try to, they, they don't even want to talk about it when you bring it up. That's why, that's why when you bring it up to people, you talk about it, they don't care about that. They right. Straight into what the word says, but you got to dive deeper. That's why I like, dialogue. dive deeper into it. All praises. That's where, a good where, thing, where man. From? Where did it, where did it originate? Right. Where, these, where, where were we really talking about back then? Right. Years ago? Right. Exactly. You know, Jerusalem is on the northeast tip of Africa. Yeah. What people are in Africa? Black people. It's simple, bro. You know what I'm saying? But people don't want to dive deeper. They, they're comfortable with where they're at. They don't care about where they're going. They don't care about the unification of our people. You understand? But this is how deep it is that we've been given a false image. Christ said it himself, right? Give, give me that in Christ, uh, where Christ's words first in Matthew 24. Christ said it himself that there would be false Christ. Right? What do you think this is? What do you think he told us to look out for? Yeah, we in the Sunday church like this is God. Every, every, every Sunday, every, talks about that, Paul, every right? you know what I'm saying. Come on, bro. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. What color is these, these words? Red. They read Christ spoken, right? Come on. Read again. And 
and for there shall arise false Christ. Christianity is false Christ. Catholicism, Baptist, Mormonism, uh, Seven Day Adventist, all these are false theologies. These are not the Bible. Read. And false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders. In so much, in, in so much, what would happen? If it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. They shall do what? Deceive the very elect. They shall deceive the elect. We are the elect of God, the children of Israel. We are the elect. Uh, Isaiah 45. That's the point. So we were deceived to think that Christ looked like them. Or so much, like you said, whenever you bring it up, they say, oh, color don't matter. If color didn't matter, why would they change it? If color didn't matter, why would you change it then? Why don't you go worship a black man? You know what I'm saying? No, that's not, that's not historical, right? Come on now, read. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 4. Yep. For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel mine elect. Who's Israel? Mine elect. Not the land, the people, the 12 tribes of Israel. So-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, right? Do you see yourself on that sign? Do you, do you understand that you're an Israelite? Yeah. You do? What tribe? You tell me. Were your people brought here on ships? Yeah, that's, uh, gener generally that's how we would identify, right? As American blacks, you know? That's, it's, it's just that simple. So God says we come from the same tribe that Christ came from. Didn't Christ come out of the tribe of Judah? Didn't it just say Christ was a black man with woolly hair? Ain't we black men with woolly hair? Come on now. Like you said, the same thing, you just follow Christ. But but when you say Christianity, I guess I look at that as just following of Christ. So I don't I Correct. Don't, I don't see any like like you said, we're not even supposed to make images or any of that. So I get what you're saying. Like That's I ain't into none of this religion's main religion, how they make rules. Do you go to Go listen to what Christ does. So I do go to, I listen to church and I listen to it, but it, it strays away from what Christ really was talking about. So, what should you do? As uh, First John 4. So, with you knowing and listening and hearing how it strays away, what what should you do? I should just follow Christ. Jesus. You should leave that church. Yeah. No, I, leave I don't, it. Don't I, listen I don't, to it no more. No, I don't go, but I don't, I don't really go. I actually study it on my own and I actually All praises. to a bunch of preachers. Which I, I try to find the right one that teaches about right. Because sometimes they stray away, but they just trying to, like you said, they're preaching to the people in front of them, and they trying to gain status and notice. So it gets away from what Jesus is really talking about. So what so is? It's, so it's really hard to really find one person. Correct. Exactly. It's hard to find the truth. But guess what, brother? You came across the truth today. How? The questions that you've had, the thoughts, they're being answered. Thus saith the Lord. All right. How do we know that? How do we, as in the, we all come from different walks of life? But this Bible brought us together. Why? Because we all came out of Christianity. Seven-day events. Some in uh, Catholicism. We said, yo, what we learned was false. This is the truth. Our nationality is the truth. All these things, they're adding up now. First John 4. This is what, this is what we had to do. First John chapter 4 and verse 1. Be beloved, believe not every spirit. What does the Bible say? Beloved, believe not every spirit. That's what you're doing, right? You said, damn, that pastor ain't got it. Skirt. That pastor gone. Skirt. As blacks, natives, and Hispanics, we got to do what? Believe not every spirit. Because we are the Israelites according to the Bible. The so-called Native Americans from the tribe of Gad. The Seminole Indians from the tribe of Reuben. We're not just uh, niggas. We're not just blacks. We're not just colors. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. And we must come back to God's laws as a people. This is what we are here to do. We are here to reach those people that got an ear to listen. That can't, that got two minutes for God. Because what we've been taught is lies. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.